Hello and welcome to Reality TV Cringe. I am one of your hosts, Delia the Redhead, mm. here with my real tight homegirl and my daughter-in-law, Beatrice. Hi, everybody. We are here to talk Welcome to Plathville. <sighs> now, if you're listening on audio, that'll be promptly followed up with Mom Talk, yep. Secret Lives of Mormon Wives. But if you're on YouTube, it's going to be a separate video for Mom Talk, yep. so make sure to look for that. Mm. But I'm really excited because it is the finale, bitch. Oh my god, I'm so glad we're done with the this. The journey is over. This season sucked! It did suck, and we'll talk about... This episode sucked. This episode sucked ass. Oh my god, it was mad. I was mad, too. I got upset about it. Me, too. Before we get into it, we do want to issue you a disclaimer. Please hide your wife and hide your kids. This is a politically incorrect podcast. We say a lot of stupid things. Yep. We use a lot of bad words. Oh, yeah. And we're not going to apologize for it honey are no. you kidding me no way no way so if you're sensitive you might want to find yourself another dumpster but if you're ready to party and play and have our own christian concert oh my god welcome to this dumpster and if you are ready to party and play be sure to follow us on instagram at reality tv cringe and join us on patreon patreon.com slash reality tv cringe that's where the real party's at okay? absolutely oh my god all right now before we get into the final episode um some revelations came out <laughs> this past week to say the least girl so much drama um, specifically we learned who exactly Mariah Plath was so torn up about. She was so torn up about it. She had to write music. Yeah. It's her album. form of therapy. <laughs> Songs like Devil in a Suit and Tie. And September. And Monster. <laughs> I'm a monster. Like all these <sighs> songs have a root, have yeah. an origin point, And that, Beatrice, is a man named Matthew Craven. Yes. Who's also an artist himself. Is he? Yeah, he's Is a that very what we're calling talented, it these days? very talented, auto-tuned singer. He's got his own bad music. It's out. It's really bad. Have you listened to it? Yes. Oh my god, it's horrible. I sent you the link. There's more. No, I, I stopped. I wouldn't listen at, to his whole discography. Uh, he, has a, <laughs> he has a discography. <laughs> yeah, he's got a lot. A discography. Yes. Oh my god. It's bad. No, I just listened to the one song that I sent you yeah. and I'm like, be so for real. How <laughs> old are you? You look like you're 40. Dude, and he is. I mean, and he does look like Mr. Potato Head. 100%. So hashtag facts, Ethan. Yep. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, how old are you really? I think he's 31. I thought somebody on Reddit said he was 39. I know. I don't know. Ambiguous 30s. Girl, too old. And Mariah's 21 or 22. Yikes. Yeah. I mean, age gaps, I mean, whatever. They're weird or not. I but mean, I just feel like... This is weird. To Mariah me. is so naive. Yeah. And why? Why are these beautiful women going after these bum-ass ding-dongs? Girl, I don't know. But it shows how naive she is and mm -hmm. how stupid she is. And then I'm like, Kim and Barry... Y'all fucked up. Yeah, clearly. Fucked up so bad. Why does your daughter have all these bad tattoos? I'm a rebel. I'm a rebel. Forget a rebel. Forget a rebel. <laughs> all these horrible tattoos. Yeah. And then she's dating Max. And then she dates Mr. Potato Head. And Matt. then writes a whole album. Matt, yeah. Yeah. A whole album about this loser. Yeah. Who's got a whole ass kid. And she really wants him to hear the songs oh so that God, he understands yeah. the depth of her feelings. <laughs> Just kill me now. Yeah, it's <laughs> so angsty and it's so overwrought. And Mariah, you looking so dumb. Oh, my God. And then so this dumb. episode, she, I don't know what the hell's going on with Mariah. Girl. I'm so over her. This episode pissed, pissed me off. I was so pissed. But anyway, back to Matt Craven before yes. we get into it. Yeah. So I, apparently after the season finale came out, and again, we are a week late, and we yeah, apologize sorry. for that. Don't care. But like he was private on Instagram. and he then still he is. went Is he? Mm -hmm. But he did a... I thought he did a TikTok. Maybe it was a TikTok. No, he did an IG live, okay. I think, or a TikTok live. I don't know. He did a live. And he was talking mad shit about the Plaths. I didn't watch it. I wish I knew it was on because I would have watched the shit yeah. out of that. But somebody on Instagram, Amanda, um, reached out to us on IG. Oh my God. Thank you, Amanda. Thank you, Amanda. Thank she you. gave us like the little spark notes. And then I've seen some other things said about it on Reddit. But she said that he revealed the fact that Matt and Mariah never slept together or dated, allegedly. That the Plaths are actually broke AF. What? Kim cheated on Barry with that Jamaican guy friend that they had. Yeah, which I was like, what? What? That's wild. 
And how Micah is actually bisexual, and she did on Veronica multiple times. Cheated on Veronica? Yeah, which is really sad. I'm like, I hope that's not true. Me too, but I can totally see the bisexuality. I mean, come on. Yeah, for yeah. sure. We've been calling I mean, that out for seasons. We've been saying that. Yeah. And then I guess there was also some blurbs on Reddit of Matt saying that Mariah was homeless and that he was actually helping her out, like paying for things and like trying to give her a place to stay. And I'm like, I don't know if I trust this no, dude. At unreliable all. narrator. Like, I don't know. But then he also posted after this live, he posted a picture of a devil or something. And he's like, This is not who I am, making a reference to Mariah's stupid hmm. song, The Devil in the Suit and Tie. And then he made another story of a devil picture and then Kim Plath's mugshot oh. and said, Who's the real devil here? Oh. And had a poll that said, like, who's the real oh. devil or whatever. And obviously everyone was like, yeah, Kim Plath. Oh, my God. So this guy's coming for the Plaths, okay. which is kind of crazy to me because I'm like, you weren't on the show. Nobody said your name. Everybody blurred you out. Mm -hmm. Like, nobody would have even known who the fuck you were mm -hmm. until you came out. He's a clout goblin. That's what I'm saying. He's yeah. here for the clout. Yep. That's what I think, too. Yeah. He's got a music career and he's yeah. wanting to ride the coattails of this dumbass, lame-ass show. For sure. And I'm like... You're totally lying. And then he also published screenshots of him and Mariah's text messages. Because I guess oh, Mariah. That's uncool. Yeah. Oh, totally uncool. She reached out to him and was like apologizing and talking about like God, you know. <laughs> what? I don't care. Sorry, Beatrice. Like, no, like just her being like, you know. Jesus and God. I, <laughs> no, I love Jesus. But I'm, I, she was just saying like. God came to me in a revelation that I was like being a piece of shit, like stupid stuff. You okay. know, I'm like, no, you were just dumb. Like you're yeah. just a dumb 20. We could have told you that. Oh, uh, we were telling you that. We've been telling you that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, she just apologized, and he was like, yeah, God loves you no matter what or whatever. But then publishes the screenshots. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, this guy sucks. Yeah, but you know, the truth is probably somewhere in the middle. Like yeah. that whole. Kim Plath and J the Jamaican Me Crazy Girl. guy. That sounds like something Mariah would have known. I mean, yeah. And would have been holding against Kim and would have maybe told him I if they know. really were together. Can we just imagine a world where sugar body Kim Plath <laughs> with the wide ass feet and the trotters. Girl, no, your body shaming is now. I'm sorry. <laughs> Is dropping it low and spreading it wide for that <laughs> handsome Jamaican man? Well, that's what, what would that handsome Jamaican man want with Kim Plath? Well, I told Amanda this in the DMs. I was like, that guy was probably hoping Kim was going to be the sugar mama. Yeah. But then he realized, <laughs> sugar body mama. oh, God, she ain't got no money. She ain't got no sugar. No. <laughs> but her inner sugar body. That's right. So. Yeah. But I mean, if she was really doing that and then she went on to have the adulterous drunken affair with the racist Ken Palmer. I mean, like, what the fuck? Fuck Just this bitch. blowing up and shitting all over your family and <laughs> life. Just diarrhea spraying no, all real. over your husband and children. Yes. It's not a good look, Kim Plath. You utter degenerate. Oh, my God. She's terrible. I hate her. I hate her, too. Playing that fucking bass. Oh my god! When you have an actual nails, like dude. studio musicians there who know how to play shit, but you're with your fucking sandals honey, yep. <laughs> and your mini skirt, playing the bass while your whack ass kids sing some hymns in front of strangers. Oh my god! What are we doing here, Beatrice? <laughs> it's really bad. But remember, Ooh. this was Mariah's idea, right? This whole concert was Mariah's idea, and then she ghosts ghosts like typical mariah plath would she's the one who wants to have the concert she's the one who wants to debut her album which by the way hasn't been released yet no okay i'm like now would be for the, the music videos i'm waiting for all this stuff maybe she's not gonna do it you shouldn't i mean please. it's bad but i kind of want her to of course but i mean like what what is this all for we're having this stupid cobbled together concert for what this is just for publicity like it's just to be like yeah like we're still a family we still care and that's great like mm -hmm. we know that you guys still love each other we know that you guys are all like back together again after all the divorces like we the get the band it. is back together but like we don't need the no. band to be back together like we don't literally we don't need to need hear it. the band <laughs> like, literally. we literally we don't need to hear you guys that. stopped that six years ago yeah. for a reason mm -hmm. let's keep it in the past we or like don't if go to a church or something it. i'm sure there's some church in georgia who's gonna be like charmed for you all think you. god wants to hear that all the hitler youth to trot on jesus in didn't and ask for that. about jesus christ jesus didn't ask but for i that. didn't ask for it no 
And I'm arrested. reviewing this show as my profession. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is I a real job. Forced yeah. to watch these hillbillies <laughs> yodel out these hymns and weird songs. And I'm like so over it. I'm so glad it's over. I'm so glad it's over. The only oh thing God. I'll say is Amber is so pretty. Oh my God, that dress. I'm like, girl. She's gorgeous and her voice sounds just like Mariah's. Oh, well, it was a little a better. A little better. But I mean, little very better. similar to Mariah's. Please disabuse yourself of this notion that your sister can sing. She cannot sing. Or just like go and get vocal lessons. Yeah, you guys probably could be trained and actually sing decent. Pray to your Jesus to yes. help you with your voice. Yeah. Because this ain't it, Amber. No. But you are so pretty. Oh my God. Oh my God. She's going to be a smoke she, show. She's like the prettiest out of all the girls. By far. Which is not her inherent. It's not her inherent value. No. She's just great. saying, oh my God, she's athletic. Yep. She teaches line dancing or yoga i don't know something like something that, like that. <laughs> she seems smart she's clocking kim oh yeah and calling her mom out well now she's best friends with kim is she yeah i don't think she likes kim probably not i mean who likes kim i don't like kim oh my god oh and didn't somebody call in about that yeah well let's talk about it <laughs> somebody called in on the speak pipe reggie for phil came for me yeah i was like why are you giving kim plath so much grace oh my god. and none for olivia I said one fucking thing. And the reason we aren't playing the speak pipe is because I think somebody called earlier in the season yeah. to get in that ass. Same the same, <laughs> said the same thing. Yep. We and answered my it before. thing is over the season, you have made some like insightful comments about how Kim Plath reminds you somewhat of your mother. Mm-hmm. And so therefore, you're kind of predisposed to have some grace for her a little bit. Yeah. Because you're currently working out your own relationship with your mother. So I can see how you would see one shred of goodness in that woman, whereas nobody else does. Yeah. But like, you also tear into her. All the time. And we tear into her every there is not a moment that goes by that i'm not calling that bitch out dude for real you literally just talked about I her white ass feet i her will mini skirts like i won't stop and i talked about that last week like i said one thing about kim showing a little bit of growth with her kids like i think mm-hmm. it was in that context mm-hmm. of like yeah she loves her kids i think she does genuinely love her kids yeah is she flawed in so far as she can love right right <laughs> in so far can as a stone she can love capable can yeah. a tree love exactly can a piece of shit love <laughs> these are questions we ask <laughs> exactly like i'm sorry that i saw a little bit of humanity in her for one moment yeah but you want with olivia and i think but i do sometimes you, know, you very begrudgingly <laughs> I got to pull that shit out yeah. from you like a, a demon. You hate her too, though. Well, I know. Yeah. So well, Olivia? For me. Yeah. No, no, I have more grace for Olivia. Like, across the board between you and I, I do go out of my way to try and see yeah. the goodness in Olivia. Right. And I give her grace for being young. And blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, like, blah, I, blah, But blah. I mean, she's insufferable. Yes. And I cannot stand her. And yeah. I'm so ready to get her off of my television. I know I was texting you like, oh my God, uh, <laughs> this whole episode, there's been no Olivia. And you know what? I like it. Yeah. I like it better. It's great. Yeah. And then she popped on the television. They had to end the season with her. Very poignant. Hated that for me. Because, <laughs> you know, for real. Yeah. Because a lot of people worship her. And that's like my main criticism with Olivia. It's like, I, I don't like her, obviously. But like, I just hate that everybody's Are you triggered like. by her? Well, a little. But also, I just hate that everybody's like, oh my God, Olivia, we love you. You can do no wrong. You're so amazing. You've shown so much growth for a mature 25 year old. No, she hasn't. <laughs> oh she, like, it's just so annoying. <laughs> and so I hate when people come for me because I'm outspoken in my opinion. No, like, I, and I, come on. Do you want to have a podcast where just like everybody's saying the same thing and trying not to I hurt mean, people's feelings? Like you're not always going to agree with us. And that's fine. And our opinions. Like let's hope you don't. Let's that's hope great. there is something that we say that makes you mad and it gets you to think about it. And then you can make a comment or write it. And this person left a speak pipe and also sent you a dirty DM. Yeah, they did send me calling a dirty your ass DM. Out. Call, did they call you ignorant? Yeah, they call arrogant. me closed-minded <gasps> and biased. Doesn't she know you're part of the LGBTQ yeah, community? Yeah, but apparently I'm closed-minded. You can't be ignorant. I'm joking. I'm just like, <laughs> this is so dumb. I mean, look, it's great that you disagree. That's fine. You have every right to your own opinions, but you don't got to be coming for me. Yeah, and I don't think she's going to change her mind about Olivia. No, and that's fine. Yeah. and I don't care. And I think we're like one of the only podcasts out there that routinely 
get in her ass and, and shit I think, on Olivia. And I yeah. think that's fair. Yeah. Because she's done some shitty things and some people yeah. say, well, she had a bad season. No, bitch. No. She's had season upon season We upon watched season every single episode. Where she has done some stuff like that's been out of pocket and so we're calling it out. But at the same time, I can understand why a lot of people look up to her. I honestly can. This is the last episode of the season. Let's put this all to bed. Can we all be friends in the dumpster? No, we can't. I want to be friends in the dumpster. Because if people, if we criticize Olivia, then people come for us and they're like, oh my god. Literally suck these nuts. Your misogyny. Li- misogyny. Yeah, <laughs> literally. <laughs> literally suck these nuts. It's okay to have different opinions in the world. Oh Jesus my God. crackers. And it's also shocking. I know. It's reality TV. <laughs> I mean, it's not that fucking deep. Like, we're literally know. in a dumpster. We're I, wearing wigs. I get triggered, though. We're wearing pajama Boom. pants and shit, and we're talking trash. I feel real emotions when I'm, like, watching Cody Brown. I'm yeah, like, I'm literally like, going to have a conniption. Yeah, that's Cody fucking Brown. But, like, yeah. this is Plathville. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's, like it's, it's, like, tantamount to vanilla pudding. It's, yes. like, so bland. And we've <laughs> also been bitching this whole entire season about how we haven't talked about Kim's freaking DUI. Too. Yeah. Like, we go Are off you kidding? on everybody. I am constantly taking every opportunity to call her f- out for her adulterous, sinful yes. ways and her mini skirts. Right. Like, just because I said one little thing and about her, makeup. her, like, just one little thing about her, everybody's like, oh my God. You said it a couple times, though. Well, yeah, because, like, I can see moments where, like, she does have How a little How dare you have it. compassion? I mean, oh my God. The fuck Fucking is wrong with me. you? The fuck is wrong with you? Fucking sue me. Anyway, but it's truly, thank you for calling in and also writing. And I think this mm-hmm. person is a patron. And, like, yeah, I just, we're just saying, we're just having differing opinions. It's fine. It's fine. Thank you so much, though. We, d- I appreciate it. And be it just. <laughs> <laughs> not so much but i do but i also think no, like thanks. we're pretty fair jesus yeah okay back to the episode get off my dick <laughs> but this episode was bullshit yeah because the whole episode was centered around mariah's dumb idea to have a plath family concert she organizes it everybody goes to the um, stupid um, fucking resort um, it's oh. so it's coming i'm snow everybody's getting ready for this stupid concert and then like i don't know 27 hours 24 hours before the concert who is this concert for mariah has a bomb to drop on ethan and tells him yeah oh my god i have something to tell you oh i'm talking to my ex oh my god we talked for four hours in the back of his toyota corolla and he everything he explained everything and it makes sense and Ethan's like pissed off. Yeah. Obviously. Because she's so dumb. Because you write a whole album smearing this guy. Yeah. You make your whole family hate him. You're putting us in this sad, morose parade of yours. And you're just going to run right back to him. And by the way, at the time that they were allegedly seeing each other, he had a whole ass, I think, wife and or girlfriend who was pregnant. Oh, yeah. So Heavy with child. Heavy. Heavy with, with child. child. So that's probably what Mariah found out and Mm -hmm. then got really upset about it so she told her whole whole family that he was cheating on her and or he was married with a with a child on the way and so that's why everybody hates him and now she just wants everybody to accept him back into the fold because they talked for four hours on the phone she's just such a dumb little girl she's a dumb 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 little girl she is so dumb and then she invited him to the concert which i'm like sweet are we gonna see him no but we don't this is tlc i would like to remind you this is tlc they don't care about you no they don't they don't care about they your hate us. feelings they hate us they do we are their loyal fans yeah. we're watching all of this garbage yeah and we do the our own investigative journalism around this forensic bringing raccoons articles and reports about who this person is and pictures yep yeah we can't even get this guy otherwise we wouldn't know yeah but it's so stupid. This whole thing felt super fucking fake to me. It honestly felt like the family knew that this was happening. Like this was like a stunt that the whole family did because this was just like clickbait, honestly. Like yeah. it was so this whole dumb. Season, this whole season has been clickbait. There's Ugh. been nothing going on. <sighs> like the the most that we learned was a little bit about the divorce with yes. Ethan and Olivia, but Olivia went on that podcast, I think right. the Sarah Fraser podcast, and she's like, yeah, we're not divorced, though. Yeah. Kim and Barry aren't divorced. We never fucking talked about that. Yeah. We didn't talk about anything, just these pretend, ambiguous storylines that go nowhere. And then that dog walker. Oh, my God. Just nobody asked for the dog Don't walker. bring that up. He's going to be on next season, I bet you. 
Is there going to be a next season? Uh, yes. Oh, and God. it's going to be Olivia centered because that's what all the no! rabid fans want. Okay. Well, we'll talk about it at the very end where you're going to give a grade to this season. <sighs> and we're going to be as fair as possible. Okay. <laughs> Why are you looking at me? I'm just saying. So Mariah steals away to go probably bang this guy, Ew. although he says they never had sex, and I don't know. I don't believe uh, girl, him. I don't know, but they spend time together. She's being very dramatic about it. Oh like God. people don't know where Mariah is. She goes to I don't know whose birthday party they were all meeting for. Ethan's uh, surprise Ethan's birthday party. Something surprise like birthday party. Yeah. At the restaurant, she sits down for three minutes total, and then she's like, "Okay, bye." And she then, arrives late, and then yep, yep, goes back to probably talk to him or see him, mm-hmm. and everybody's in a tizzy. And that's when Ethan tells the family, "Well, Mr. Potato Head's back," and Micah does seem genuinely concerned and or pissed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and so he starts looking for Mariah. Yeah, him, Isaac, and Ethan, and I'm just like, these brothers like do care about their sister, and they just are like, "What the fuck? Like, why is this?" piece of dog shit even here yeah. and why is he talking to it's not the time to be here yeah like why is he talking to our dumb sister who doesn't fucking know any better obviously so they're going to try and find her because amber has her location this is like a whole fake chase they find mariah in the back of mr potato head's toyota <laughs> corolla that's tinted out to filth <laughs> they find her talking to him and then we don't get to see him We don't even get to know his name. No. We just know his name because of Reddit. Right. Thank you, Reddit. But they blurt it out, and then it's the next day. Yeah, I don't care. I don't care about any of this. Now it's it's the day of the concert. Everybody shows up to set up the equipment. It's a shit show. Kim's hot. And everybody, (laughs) she's got her base. And like, we're setting up. Everybody's wondering where Mariah is. Is Mariah going to even come? Finally, Mariah exits the elevator in her black cat suit looking like a snack she's a sure. pretty girl yeah but like arriving like a rock star oh my god to this I know. Ram, ramshackle is um, that a word yeah. this bum ass concert <laughs> with like senior citizens and <laughs> geriatrics yeah yeah people from yeah. like neighboring um assisted living <laughs> facilities <laughs> Like, yeah. who don't know what's going on yeah. to attend this concert. And it's just like a cringe. This is why we named this podcast Reality TV Cringe. For this moment in time, honey. Oh, my God. And I didn't realize that they were going to go through, like, so many songs. Like, I thought they were just going to perform, like, maybe one or two. But we have <laughs> Mariah. She, Mariah did, like, three fucking songs from her album. I don't care! And then the girls joined in why? to do some hymns. And then Johnny Cash. Ethan, okay. <laughs> I'd be like, nobody is asking for this. Nobody's checking for this. No. Nobody is wanting this. Well, in that defense, some of the senior citizens were singing out loud. Because it's hymns from like the early 19th century or whatever. (laughs) They're Protestant hymns that they grew up on. And they're all in their 80s septuagenarians. Yeah. This was so whack, girl. It was something. I'm just embarrassed for y'all because you guys don't have the worldly experience to realize this is such a shit show. It was so bad. And everybody's laughing at you. Even those old people, demented (laughs) as they are, laughing the fuck. They are laughing at you. They're going back to their assisted living facility. (laughs) They're eating their pudding and they're laughing (laughs) at you. They are laughing while also singing Keep on the Sunny Side. Yeah. I mean, Which is a good song. I like the song. But I mean, it was bad dude yeah. and it was just it was so weird because i'm like i know all of this is to make some kind of narrative or so a bow into it being like yeah like we're a happy family we're we love each other blah blah, blah. but i'm like you could have done this any other way yeah like you could have done this with like a family restaurant meeting like where mm-hmm. like everybody's there for ethan's birthday and like congrats it's fun but no we had this whole episode centered around this dumb fucking concert are they trying to launch careers i know like lydia yeah. has an album mariah has an album is ethan contemplating releasing an album? don't do no. it no is amber wanting to release an album i'm just wondering like is that what we're trying to do i don't know i mean why bring the plath family band back together if like you're not going to produce any music for us to listen to you're and not gonna at. go to any churches to play this music because your mom's a hoe i mean <laughs> Your mom's a straight up hoe. True. What's she going to do? Play bass? <laughs> that hoe ass? Yeah. In a church? And make out with Kim okay. Palmer in the back. Okay. So crazy. <sighs> so a couple of other things that happened that we do need to discuss. Yeah. Kim and Ethan sit down and have a convo. Yeah, that was nice. Well, I mean, <laughs> Ethan seemed a little weird. Well, yeah. Like, she'd ask him pointed questions like, how are you doing mm-hmm. with the divorce? And he'd like, pause for five whole minutes and then you yeah. look at her and smile yeah 
Like, she's, what's happening? I'm a little f- frightened. Well, this is Kim and Barry Plath's son. Yeah. So, I mean, they're all fucking socially awkward as hell. And they don't know how to be real people in real society. So, I mean, that makes sense. It tracks. And also, you know, he's trying to figure out what his relationship is with Kim. It's mm-hmm. like this is their first, like, sit down on camera, really, since all the shit blew up. Like, he's trying to be like, okay, my mom's wearing mini skirts and dating <laughs> a racist alcoholic, Ken Palmer, and she got a DUI that we're not supposed to talk about. And, like, I'm still mad at her, but also I love my mom. Like, he's dealing with all of that. Yeah, I wish he would have just said something like, I just find it rich, mom, that you're here to talk to me about my divorce when you shit on this entire family with your diarrhea spray. I mean... <laughs> I just really find it interesting that you're trying to parent me when I'm 25 years old after like letting me be a wild animal who doesn't know how to use an ATM or drink Coke and stuff. Meanwhile, <laughs> you're out in the barn eating M&Ms and drinking vodka f- from the fucking neck. I wish he just said something a little bit like that. Yeah, but that's scary to say though. But it's just like the audacity, the Kim Dacity yeah. to sit there and like check in on her son and like say, well, you really deserve somebody who's going to be good for you and make her little jabs at Olivia. And I'm like, okay, you're just not the right person to come with this message. Maybe Barry, yeah. maybe Lydia, but right. you, Kim, you fucking hypocrite, sit down and shut up. And also I'm like, you can sit there and say that Olivia didn't treat him very well, which we can have a debate about. I think that's true, partially. But then at the same time, I'm like, Kim, you also had a hand in their marriage. I mm-hmm. mean, according to Olivia, like you were hella fucking controlling. And like Olivia went on TikTok recently and said that Kim forced TLC to film their wedding like against Olivia and Ethan's permission. Huh. This is according to Olivia. So like, I mean, take it with a grain of salt. But she didn't want their wedding to be filmed and mm-hmm. Kim forced it onto for the show and everything. So like... Kim, acknowledge the fact that you contributed to this and contributed to Olivia hating you. Like, there's reasons why this happened. Like, you're not just blameless at all of this. Like, yeah, Olivia sucked, but you also sucked. so did you. Yeah. And you had a hand in all of that. And frankly, I believe you did do something funky with the credit card. Yeah. I know you have your truth, but you didn't share what it was. Right. Like, there's something wrong with you, Kim. Mm -hmm. Can't take responsibility for anything a la Cody Brown. Of course. Yeah. That's why we didn't get to talk about your DUI all season. Because you told producers not to mention it. Correct. So stupid. And then we have this scene where Barry sits down with Ken Palmer. And I know you said last week you thought maybe Ken Palmer was going to talk some smack. And I'm thinking... That old man is shaking in his boots <laughs> with For this uh, cyborg stud, Barry Plath. Yeah, beep boop bop with his I muscles. Mean, just give me one, just give me one reason, girl, to just lay you flat, you racist old man. But no, Kim didn't. Ken didn't say anything bad, and they had a fake little conversation. Everything went well. I thought Barry handled himself with a lot of class. Oh, I agree totally. I, and you could tell Barry was a little. Mm, not happy to be around Ken, but he passed it off really well. And he was like being very tolerant in front of the kids. Micah says that he respects his dad for that. And that was great. I'm just looking at these two men, mm-hmm. these two specimens. Why, Ken? And I'm like, how did Kim go? I mean, look, I know Barry's not like super attractive. Like, I know he's not like amazingly But hot. compare and contrast. But, I mean, look at Barry's physique. Barry mm-hmm. <laughs> and Ken motherfucking Palmer. Right. I mean, like, what the fuck? I don't understand. I don't get it. And the fact that the reality is that Ken cheated with Kim. Yeah. Like that Barry was married to her when y'all were fucking and he thought he was in a real viable marriage. Right. And you stole his woman. I mean, the fact that he sat there and had a conversation with him, I was just like, wow. I think Barry's like, I'm indifferent. I'm up on tinder or whatever for middle age people farmers only i'm looking yeah i'm up on farmers only Mm -hmm. looking for my little cow girl yeah fitness with her tight body running that's Mm -hmm. what i'm into and it ain't kim nope ready to move on and maybe that's what barry's looking at the situation like oh yeah okay you guys are together 
cringe. Mm-hmm. Look at me and my hot body and my muscles. Like, I think, I think that's it's great. really interesting that Matt Craven is saying that they're broke or that they're having financial problems. And if that is true, I wonder how long that has been happening. Yeah. And whether, like, something's going on with Barry and his profession. Maybe the money started to run out or something. And Kim said, okay, let me go fuck a Jamaican. And this <laughs> racist-ass old man... Or Kim was taking money and hiding it and buying booze and maybe gambling. You know, like she could have been doing some crazy Escorts, shit on the side. Drugs, M and M's, cake. Or maybe Barry was buying a lot of kombucha cake. <laughs> I didn't even realize this. You're so bad. I'm sorry. I don't like her. Is that it? Yeah. <laughs> so everybody sings. It sucks, and we're it's gone. Bad. Peace out. We're done. Olivia's moving to DC to oh, be yeah, next to right. Brendam. Twenty minutes away. Wow! What a kawinky dink that oh you're moving to DC. I literally don't fucking care. She's just really, 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 really naive for all of her projection of worldliness, seriously, and insight. She's literally uprooting herself from Los Angeles, where she had dreams. To being. live. Like she wanted to live in Los Angeles and yeah. hang out. And go. Moving to DC Ew. to be next to this dog walker. I'm like, okay, well, if you like it, I love it. I don't. I, do, I just don't give a shit. Okay. I, I don't care. Well, Beatrice, what? Let's end this season with a final grade and then have a very brief conversation as to whether we're going to pick it up next year. Here's my grade. I'm going to give this a, a D minus. D minus? Yeah, it's not a complete fail because as I said last week, there were some things that I really wanted to know and like those snippets from Ethan, those little revelatory facts about Olivia and like how fucking dramatic it was all the time and how yeah. exhausted he was and that I live for I live yeah, that's I good. live for that. Yeah. Um so I can't fail it outright, but I mean, damn close. I'm failing it. Okay. F all the way this season sucked ass i just was really disappointed in how produced it became i'm disappointed in all the fake storylines like there were some little morsels here and there but i'm like it was not enough yeah i'm starving over here i want more i want a full ass meal i want a full ass garbage meal i don't want produced crap Mm -hmm. i don't want fake bullshit like okay look if you're gonna give me fake bullshit like sister wives then just keep it to the plast. Like, I want to see more of the mm-hmm. dysfunctional family. I do not care about Olivia. Right. You're not a plath anymore. I mean, you are because you're keeping the last name for some reason. But, like, I don't want to see your life on the show. Okay. So when it comes back next year, if it comes back, are we going to cover it or what? I mean, I'm still going to watch it. Okay. But I don't know if we All should right. cover it. TBD. Yeah. We're not sure. We'll see but I'm how like we feel. super disappointed and yeah. unhappy with the season. And some people say to us, like, why do you guys watch shows that you guys totally roast and hate? Well, because we start something and we have to finish it usually. Yeah. Usually yeah. we do. Usually. Sometimes yeah. we give up. S- sometimes it's so terrible. We're just like, peace we out. We have to be out of it. Yeah. But, um, you know, so, but we're going to be honest about our opinions with yeah. it. And I just don't know if we're going to return to this particular trough. I don't know. If there's going to be some other trash that's better, like yeah. Mom Talk is coming back yeah. for season two. Like, oh my God, 20 episodes. So much content. 20 that, episodes. That would be so lit. Yeah. So, like, I'd rather cover that than the Olivia show. Fair. Yeah. All right. Are you ready to talk about Secret Lives of Mormon Wives? Yes. Let's get into it. <laughs> 